Very Thank good. you. You're welcome. Just as Spartan Athletics will be a big boost for MSU, a groundbreaking on the university's campus today stands to benefit mid-Michigan and the entire state. News 10's Anthony Sabella tells us the ripple effects for the long-awaited FRIP. MSU has shown itself worthy. The scientific benefits that come with the facility for rare isotope beams are countless. At the groundbreaking ceremony Monday morning, some suggested it could help find a cure for cancer or help national defense. The Michigan politicians who helped bring the FRIB here in 2008 agree the possibilities are endless. This is a huge project with international as well as national significance. But what about here in Michigan? Senator Debbie Stabenow says the economic impact will be felt immediately and down the road. 5,000 construction jobs, 400 permanent jobs, unlimited number of students that will have an opportunity to come through and work with the most sophisticated science research equipment. Along with it, an estimated billion dollars to the mid-Michigan region in construction and funding. Congressman Mike Rogers sees all of it trickling down. It means economic spin-off, so you'll have businesses that will be created off of the research that happens here over really the next 20 years. On top of that, Senator Carl Levin says the international draw will be immense. It'll be a world-renowned center for nuclear physicists to come here to East Lansing and to Lansing and to Michigan. Which means another spotlight on Michigan State University, a school he used to call one of the state's best-kept secrets. It's no longer a secret. I mean, everybody knows it. Uh, it's just a huge flow of discovery coming from this university. In East Lansing, Anthony Sabella, News 10. The FRIB's chief scientist told us more than 1,300 scientists from around the world have already signed up to use the facility when it opens no later than 2022.